Bastion is a game about the kid and his adventures as he hacks and slashes his way through diverse environments in order to help build a bastion for the survivors of the old world. The kid's floating city that goes by the name of Kalandia was suddenly hit by a catastrophic event known as a calamity. This resulted in the fracturing of Kalandia into several floating pieces and the death of nearly everyone in the city. A seemingly omnipotent narrator by the name of Rux guides the silent protagonist through his escapades, slowly filling in the kid's backstory and reminiscing on what the world was before the calamity. The Bastion serves as home base for the kids and Rux. Standing on his sanctuary are a variety of buildings that are crucial to the kid's success. These buildings include the arsenal, forge, distillery, memorial, lost and found, and the shrine. The Bastion structures serve a variety of purposes, including storing weapons and providing secret skills. This is one example of player freedom in Bastion, as it allows the player to mix and match different weapons and skills to create the most effective and potent combination to defeat enemies. The player is also given freedom in choosing the order that they discover new parts of the city. The developers allowed for you to choose which areas you want to explore and fly to in whatever order the player pleases, giving each player a different order to which to they complete the storyline. This element gives each player a personalized and unique experience as the chronology of the narrative varies from person to person. An essential part of Bastion's gameplay is its reward system. When completing missions, you gain new and improved weapons or potions. However, these missions are not without penalty. You are given two lives if the player has not selected the one plus life upgrade. And if you lose your lives by falling off the map too many times or being killed, then you have to restart. This is not too bad until the player has retried a couple times. You can quickly get frustrated by going through the same motions and hearing the same narration word for word to no avail. This aspect is a significant factor as well. One challenge that perfectly exemplifies this is the who knows where challenge. It requires the player to defeat up to 20 waves of monsters. And after defeating each wave, the narrator gives just a little more information about the kid or Kalandia's backstory until you get the full picture. Each time you fail to survive, you must restart completely and re-listen to the same parts of the narrator has already explained. By giving the player the opportunity to repeat challenges, Bastion tests resilience and critical thinking skills. Although you need the strength to power through multiple attempts at the same level, you won't be successful if you don't try new strategies and methods of attack. Strategies depend heavily on the environment in which the combat takes place, as well as the type of enemies you must defeat. The developers created a variety of monsters or enemies, each with their own specific weaknesses. At the same time, the game also includes numerous weapons and skills with their own strengths and weaknesses. This allows each player a chance to interact with the game and its challenges in a way that suits their skills and preferences without restricting them to a limited number of options, considering you can select a vast range of guns, swords, and potions to use from obstacle to obstacle. Other elements include the storytelling and narration aspects of Bastion, which contrast with the player freedom and degree of interactivity. I find this to be especially unique to Bastion, as no action-focused game I have played has included such a rich and complex narrative structure. The game displays vibrant and fantastical environments that fall into place before your very eyes, 
covered by trees and ruins that immersed the player into the city of Kalandia. The peculiar decision by the developers to have the environments form paths as the player approaches the edge complements the classy and comedic narration. The narrator is confident and sarcastic as he guides you through various quests, speaking in the present tense. The narrator is also encyclopedic, meaning that he has a vast and complete understanding of the situation and the conflicts that the kid finds himself in. In addition, to explain what is occurring as you progress, the game will often sidetrack and give you a detailed explanation on previous happenings through the narrator. Instead of immediately revealing the entire world to the player, Bastion makes you walk in different directions to make it all come together. At the same time, the narrator gives you a fair amount of backstory and hints as you encounter different sectors. It makes the player feel as if they are living the story in real time, as your movements dictate the movement of the narrative. Other artistic characteristics of the game include the detail and depth of the world. Despite the world being rendered in a cartoon-like fashion, the backgrounds and foregrounds make the world feel larger than it is, which is even more impressive considering that you are restricted to a narrow pathway set before you as you traverse through different landscapes. When you look down the edges of the paths, there is a dark and faint outline of land and green pastures. The backgrounds are detailed while at the same time blurred and pushed back to give the impression of vast space. Another key aspect of the game is Bastion's music which ends up being an important part of the player experience. The intertwining of the narration and the music choice result in an increase of emotion and excitement for the player, making you feel as if you are in the middle of a war where danger lurks around every corner. While engaging in combat or adventuring through different terrains, there's an upbeat and mystical music playing in the background, which suits the fantasy world and epic storyline making the player feel the intensity of battle. The narration is nearly non-stop and can sometimes feel interruptive. A lot of times the player is either distracted from what they are doing or they miss what the narrator says while in the middle of breaking stuff. Regardless, the music and narration create a story-like atmosphere, with the exception being that the player controls the main character. The way in which Bastion presents the use of choice is rarely seen in the video game world. Although it is not uncommon for games to have multiple endings, Bastion's endings are less black and white than is usually seen. For example, in the game Papers, Please by Lucas Pope, there are up to 20 endings. For the most part, however, these endings result in jail, death, or freedom. In other words, you have good and bad endings. In Bastion, your choices are not determined by how well you perform, but by your moral compass. This is clear in the final decision that the player must make. The player is ultimately left with a dilemma. You must decide between going back in time and restoring Kalandia, with no guarantee of being able to avoid the calamity a second time, or evacuating to the motherland and starting a new life. Neither choice is perfect, and when it comes down to it, neither one seems explicitly good or bad. The decision the player makes is based on preconceived notions, the player's moral compass, and perhaps, most importantly, their experience playing the game. Throughout the game you form an almost emotional connection with the kid, and a story that is told by an encyclopedic narrator. And based on an assortment of factors, the player will make the choice that feels right to him, but is by no means the default good ending. Bastion is a story and an interactive escapade at the same time, narrated in real time 
by an omniscient character. It offers a balance between player freedom and a scripted or directed experience. The narration, music, environmental designs, and developer choices all complement each other and allow the player to embark on a touching adventure about a kid trying to find himself and save others while facing the end of the world.